Hi there, Jamie Key here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a great night tonight. Tonight I want to take a look at Office Lens as a uh, quick kind of walkthrough of a great app if you're interested in OCR, if you use OneNote. Uh, it's a great app for connecting or uh, putting pictures of your receipts or whiteboards uh, and it ca captures your images very accurately and quickly. Uh, so uh, just a little bit of an overview you can see for, you can get it at the Google Play Store. Um, very highly rated, one of the top apps um, uh, tops app of the year, top apps of the years last year, and then also you can see that it is for uh, in the iTunes, and it gets very high ratings there. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's do a little walkthrough. There's just a couple of the examples that you can do in Office Lens. All right, so I'm going to show you a couple example examples with Office Lens here, uh, and just how easy it is to use here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open my Office Lens here. So what I did, I I found a toy that was laying on the floor, a box, and it had all these instructions or activities on the side, and I thought I'd take a picture of that to show you um, how easy it works because it's kind of a it's bigger than a piece of paper. Um, I'll just hold it up. You can see it's kind of a toy wooden vacuum cleaner so you can see it in my uh, office lens camera what I really like about office lens is um, you see that white rectangle that gets moved around it automatically does that for me other apps uh, so when I take the picture it's just going to take the picture of what's inside that one other apps you have to adjust it a bit so as I move around if I move my if I move it around you can see that it adjusts also. So I'm going to try to take a picture of the whole thing to show you um, how well this works. So if you're taking, you know, like a picture of uh, whiteboards or different things or uh, just anything out of a binder, how well you can take the picture. So I'm going to try to get the whole thing here. Try not to move here so it's not blurry here. I'll take the picture. So if it is blurry, what happens, it doesn't come out as well. And then the OCR has some problems here. I'll give this picture a try and see how it works. I'm going to hit the save here. Uh, when I hit the save, what you notice is that I have an option of where I want it to go. You could select multiple ones. So I have word selected this one because I want to show you the OCR option. Uh, I'm going to show you the OneNote one right after this. I'm going to hit the check mark up top. And so what it does is you can see all the other ones that I've practiced with, uh, you know, to make sure it was working before. Uh, but so it's going to move uh, the, this image over to OneDrive. When it goes over to OneDrive, uh, when I select on it, it's going to open in Word. And that's where the OCR takes place. Uh, from there from the OneDrive to the Word and then so I click on the top of it and if it is a clear picture I find it works very very quick but if it's um, what happens if it's a little bit blurry or something like that then what happens is that it kind of loses uh, some of the words and their spelling mistakes and different things but if you get a really crisp picture it works really really well uh, so as I scroll down here I don't notice uh, very much red in here so you can see it even has the bullets uh, that were there before as I go down even has the price tag in there, the warning, uh, you know, it put boxes around uh, the parts. If I keep scrolling down, what it does is it actually puts the image down below. So it shows what I did take a picture of it. And so uh, just so it's about a foot and a half tall, this thing too. So I was back a little bit. So if you were kind of making sure pinpointed area, it could even do a, a better job, but just in comparison. And what I've noticed with correct lighting, a lot of times it will actually even put the, the images in. So those little vacuum cleaners at the, at the bottom of the image would uh, sometimes be in there. And so I practiced it before and that's what happened, but maybe the lighting wasn't quite right. But you can see when it comes to the words, the spelling mistakes, um, there's no red in there. It captured all the words very easily and things like the price tag and everything too. So the other thing I wanna show you here uh, is something with OneNote, how you can use it. So I just, I have a note here. I just wrote quickly. My pen was kind of dead as I wrote it here. So uh, you can see it's not very clear. Uh, you can kind of see what I wrote, but I'm just gonna take a snapshot of that one there. And what I'm gonna do uh, this time is I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna open it in OneNote. So if you, I mean, this works good for even uh, some handwritten notes and everything. If you put it in your OneNote, it actually becomes a searchable thing here. So if I hit the check mark and it's gonna transfer uh, over to OneNote and I actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my OneNote on my computer. You can see it's already saved. I should have OneNote open here. I'm just gonna, uh, this is the old picture. I'm gonna delete this one here. So just so it doesn't get mixed up here. Uh, just when I was testing it here, but I'm going to go back to uh, I'm just going to go back to my main page here. Just give me a second here. I'll just go to actually back to test here. And what I'm going to do is, if you notice what it said before, if I start typing uh, Microsoft here, actually it kind of it found it I think already there. So if I click on it, and you notice that was the picture I just took. 
and it was able to find and search out Microsoft. So you could snap pictures uh, in your, um, uh, if you're putting it to OneNote, and you can search it after. That's what I really like about that. So if you do use OneNote, this is a great app uh, to add to it. Um, on this. So uh, these are just a couple of features of, of Microsoft Lens, I would, or sorry, of Office Lens. I would give it a try, especially if you're using OneNote and you want a great OCR app. Hope you like this little uh, tech tip tutorial tonight. If you have, please give it a thumbs up or share it with some people. And remember, I do weekly tech tips. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.